Like the circulation system in the human body, a rigged circulation system ensures that the correct fluids reach the correct part of the body. The rigged circulation system consists of several components. Together they methodically and efficiently deliver drilling fluids into the well bore throughout the drilling process. Drilling fluids serve a number of purposes, as we will see. Drilling fluid, which drillers call mud, can be petroleum-based, water-based, composed of synthetic oil, and even pneumatic, such as foams. Drilling fluids can also contain additional solids to obtain the desired density, thickness, viscosity, and other properties. Regardless of their chemical composition, however, drilling fluids serve several functions. First, as the fluid is pumped through the drill bit, it provides the hydraulic energy to operate the drill bit and other downhole tools. In so doing, the fluid also serves to cool and lubricate the drill bit. As the bit drills the well, it grinds the solid rock into rubble called cuttings. The circulating drilling fluid carries these cuttings from the bottom of the well to the surface. Without the fluid to bring them to the surface, these cuttings would collect in the well bore and interfere with the efficient drilling. It is important to ensure that the new well bore retains its shape and does not collapse. This is a third function of the drilling fluid. Finally, thousands of feet of drilling fluid in a well bore amounts to a considerable weight. This weight is important for the fourth major function of drilling fluids, to provide weight to counterbalance any tendency of the oil or gas to flow to the surface. Such an uncontrolled release in a live well bore drilled conventionally can be quite hazardous. Consequently, this is a vital function of the drilling fluid. The mud is stored in the mud tanks. The mud pump is the heart of a rig circulating system. These devices are large reciprocating pumps which force the fluid from the mud tanks up a standpipe and through a high pressure hose. This flexible, high pressured hose connects the standpipe to the swivel, allowing for vertical movement in the derrick. Through the hose, fluid is pumped into the drill string. The drill string consists of many lengths of connected drill pipe, drill collars, and downhole tools that can extend for 30,000 feet or approximately 10,000 meters. You can learn more about the drill pipe in the Meet the BHA and Meet the Rotating System modules. The drill string conveys the mud through the blowout preventer and down the well bore to the drill bit. The fluid flows through the drill string and out the drill bit nozzles at the bottom of the well. The return fluid path is through the annulus between the drill string and the borehole. Upon reaching surface, the fluid, now laden with rock cuttings from the bottom of the well, moves to the mud cleaning equipment and shell shakers. As the name implies, shell shakers shake. These machines have for decades been the first line of defense in eliminating cuttings with the drilling fluid. Eliminating cuttings, also called drilled solids, is critical to maintain an efficient drilling process. Shakers are equipped with fine mesh screens that allow fluid to pass through without drilled cuttings. The shakers separate the rock cuttings from the fluid, allowing the often costly drilled fluid to be recycled and reused in the well, while isolating rock cuttings for proper disposal. Hydrocyclones, mud cleaners, and centrifuges might also be used to remove additional solids returned from the subsurface. Following cuttings removal, the cleansed drilling fluid returns to the mud tank, ready for another cycle into the well. Now that you've been introduced to the circulation system, please meet the rest of the rig through the links of the Meet the Rig page.